Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Naomi. I was scrolling through Instagram as I was killing time before my class. When I looked up, I saw Isabel walking towards me. I was excited. She was the queen bee of the popular girls at school. I really wanted to join her crowd, but I'd never even come close to making her pay attention to me. Isabel stood right in front of me. Do you mind? I looked at her blankly. Do I mind what? I asked. She rolled her eyes. I'm going to get something from my locker, but you're standing right in front of it. Can you please go and stand somewhere else? I was disappointed. First, I looked at the locker and then at Isabel. Sorry, I said and quickly walked away. I spent the whole week thinking about that moment. I was so mad at myself. I wasn't as cool as the girls in her group. It was ridiculous to believe she wanted to talk to me. Isabel was dating the captain of the soccer team. As I'm sure you know, that's the unspoken rule. Popular girls date popular guys. I wanted to be popular, so I was crushing on all the popular guys at school. Despite my obsession with popularity, someone unexpected came into my life. Liam, one of the nerdiest guys in the whole school. I only knew his name. We'd never had a conversation before. One morning, he came up to me. I thought he was going to ask for a pen or something. Suddenly, he asked, What are you doing this weekend? I was not expecting that, so I said, I'm sorry, what did you say? Liam flushed. "Uh, This weekend, do you want to see a movie or something? He managed to say. I opened my mouth to tell him off, but instead, I felt my mouth make the words, Sure, why not? I was so surprised to hear what I had actually said. Liam wasn't my type at all, but it was as though my brain had somehow been blocked. It was as if I was seized by this force that made me say yes to him. Liam and I met on Sunday. Contrary to my expectations, we had a great time. He was so (laughs) funny. When I talked, he listened to me without blinking. Everything he said was wise beyond his years. Before meeting with him, I thought I'd be annoyed by him, but I ended up falling for him. Liam and I had an amazing relationship, but one day, something unexpected happened. I had this indescribable feeling. We were having a great time as usual, but I felt like there was some kind of distance between us. Finally, I decided that it wasn't me, that something was different with him. Liam, I feel like something's off. I might be overreacting, but is something different about you today? I asked. Liam paused for a moment. I was afraid this might happen. I didn't get it. What were you afraid of? I asked. (sighs) Your feelings are right. Yes, there's something different about me today. I smell different. I don't smell like I did before, he replied. What? I asked. He started explaining. (laughs) Naomi, uh, I was in love with you and wanted you to like me, so I did something crazy. There's this flower called the Angel of the Dawn. It grows only at the peaks of the Himalayan mountains, and it blooms once a year on the first day of June at sunrise. The perfume made from this flower has an incredible effect on people. When you put on this perfume and stay close to a person for a certain amount of time, that person starts to like you because of how you smell. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Liam, what are you saying? How did you find this perfume? Was all I could say. Liam took a deep breath. Actually, this flower is considered an endangered species, so it's not allowed out of Tibet. But some people harvest it illegally and make perfume from it. They sell it on the dark web for a ridiculous price. I was only able to buy a small (laughs) bottle by selling my laptop. Unfortunately, I ran out and have no money to buy another one. So that's why I don't smell like the Angel of the Dawn today. I thought maybe I didn't need it anymore because we've come such a long way in our relationship, but unfortunately... This isn't the case. You felt it right away. I had tears pouring down my face. Liam, do you realize how dishonest that is? You made me like you by cheating. It is unacceptable. You didn't have the right to do this. I yelled. Liam had come into my life suddenly, and he left the same way. I felt cheated. I averted my gaze elsewhere whenever I saw him at school. Even if he were a good person, I couldn't forgive him after what he'd done. I was back to my old routine. My sole purpose in life was to get with the popular girls. One day, I was admiring Isabel and the girls in her clique at the cafeteria. I wish I were at their table and the other students were admiring me, I thought. I had a light bulb go off in my head. They would like me if I could apply the Angel of the Dawn and then go near them. That way, I could be one of the popular ones. I ran around the school to find Liam. He was surprised to see me. I may be able to forgive you, but on one condition, I said. Anything you want, he replied. 
I want you to find me the Angel of the Dawn. How much do you need to do that? I asked. It's so expensive. A small bottle costs $2,000, he said sadly. That, of course, was a lot of money. My parents got divorced when I was little. I was raised by a single mom. There was no way I could ask her for that kind of money. So I had to sell my laptop and my iPad too. Even so, it wasn't enough to raise the $2,000. Liam helped me out by selling his cell phone. This guy liked me enough to do that for me. We went to the school's computer lab. Liam ordered the Angel of the Dawn from the dark web. At the end of the week, the perfume arrived in the mail. I couldn't sleep that night because the next day, I would find out if it really worked. When I walked into the schoolyard the following day, I saw Isabel and her girls chatting. I approached them with hesitant steps. They were busy talking to each other, but they went quiet when they saw me. They looked at me curiously and waited for me to say something. I kept walking silently. I had to get close to them for the perfume to do its thing. Frowning, Isabel said, yes? Apparently she hadn't caught a whiff of the perfume yet. I took one more step. Then I saw Isabel's eyebrows relax. I said, hi, I'm Naomi. Hi, Naomi, Isabel said with a smile and gave me a handshake. The expression of the other girls' faces turned from shock to surprise. They introduced themselves. The angel of the dawn worked. The popular girls liked me because of my perfume. That's how I became a part of Isabel's crowd. It was truly incredible. The other students were admiring me. I was so excited I couldn't sleep that night. I practically ran to school every day. I'd become the most popular girl at school. Whoever came close to me was mesmerized by my presence, and they all loved me instantly. I owed this miracle to my perfume, of course. As time went by, I got a little disheartened. It was hard to admit even to myself that the popular girls were a disappointment in some respects. First, their only topic of conversation was the popular boys at school and the teachers. They were constantly gossiping and never got tired of it. Moreover, there was this strict hierarchy within the group. Isabel was more of a boss than a leader. She bossed them around all the time. She would say things like, go get me coffee and paint my fingernails. And the girls did as they were told without any objection. In time, I realized this was the price you had to pay to be popular. You had to put up with Isabel if you wanted to stay in the clique. Four months passed. One day, when I returned from school, I found my perfume bottle empty. I was shocked. There was so little perfume to begin with. That's why I used it sparingly, but somehow, whatever little was left of it was gone now. Just at that moment, I heard our apartment door open. My mom was back from work. I ran to her. Before I could say anything, she started telling me a story. <gasps> Naomi, honey, I had an incredible day. <laughs> Today was the luckiest day of my life. <laughs> First, my boss told me he was giving me a raise. Then my manager gave me a promotion. I am now the department <laughs> chief. After work, I met up with my boyfriend. I'd been expecting him to propose to me, and, and I'd almost lost all hope. Do you know what happened? Jeremy proposed to me today. <laughs> you heard that right. Let's set a date for the wedding, he said. Oh, God, what a day. All these things happening on the same day. Doesn't this sound like a miracle to you? I knew why these things had happened to my mom, but I still wanted to ask her. Mom, is it possible that you applied my perfume today? It was a small bottle on my table. The smile on my mother's face brightened. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, what a wonderful perfume. I loved the scent. No brand name was on it, and I thought it must be cheap and replaceable, so I finished it. Oh, I hope you're not mad. It seemed like the Angel of the Dawn worked better for my mom than it ever did for me. I winked at her playfully. So, Jeremy finally proposed. <laughs> Congratulations. And also, congrats on everything that happened at work. Um, since you're getting a raise, how about getting me a new phone? I kissed her, adding, I need to see a friend now, but I won't be late, and left home. Liam still didn't have a phone. I planned to give him the phone my mom would buy me. Since I couldn't call him, I had to go to his place. I rang his doorbell. He was so happy to see me. <laughs> Why don't you come out? I want to talk to you about something, I said. <laughs> we went to the park and sat down on a bench. Liam... I don't want to be the popular girl anymore. It's not what it seems. Their lives are miserable. I want to be your girlfriend again. I missed spending time with you, I said. He was shocked. I have to tell you one more thing, I continued. I'm thankful to the Angel of the Dawn. It helped me find you and get in with the popular girls, but I don't want to hear about it again. I love you because you're you. <laughs> Please love me because I'm me, I said. Six more months passed. 
Our relationship is going great. My mom and Jeremy got married, if you were wondering. He was already in love with her. The perfume only sped things up for them. So I'm also thankful to the angel of the dawn for my mom. 